we start with Sefer Chafetz Chaim, and our topic is, as we said uh, yesterday, uh, uh, right? Uh, I mean, uh, we discussed this a little. It's arrogance, the biggest issue, and I discussed it also in uh, class uh, this morning. Right? Uh, big issue is arrogance. Among the root of causes uh, and hara, gava, arrogance. The arrogant person views himself as a man of wisdom and stature, and he looks down upon every, everyone else. It is therefore only natural that he will ridicule others. The arrogant person is also filled with jealousy and, um, and enmity toward anyone in his community who is uh, accorded uh, great honor than, than him. He tells himself, where is not for him, <laughs> I, uh, I would be a recipient of, all, of, the, of that honor. That attitude uh, brings him to delve into the other person's history until he finds, finds something derogatory <laughs> to say about him, be it true or false, so that he can uh, heap scorn and shame upon the individual and lower his stature among the people. Wow, that's uh, a lot of information, Baruch Hashem, in one uh, paragraph. So let's do it again, and we're going to explain. A lot to, to add. Okay, so again, among the root of causes uh, of Loshan Hara is Gava arrogance, right? So <clears throat> why a person would uh, say something bad about uh, others? It's uh, because, uh, um, <clears throat> because a person feels superior to others right uh, or uh, as we're going to explain yeah he feels superior and he's trying to bring somebody down so he, he's trying to to raise uh, his own uh, stand uh, um, in expense of others the arrogant person views himself as a man of wisdom and statue and looks down upon everyone else so everybody else uh, and uh, as we said there is some all these people like that in all of this uh, all over the places like always complain about everybody's stupid everybody's uh, don't, don't have manners except them of course everybody's this everybody like uh, unbelievable right uh, uh, dishonest every like all of the bad uh, character traits about all of the people around or uh, many of them okay uh, it is therefore only natural that he will uh, ridicule others right because uh, they are of lower status so, yeah so he has a right in his mind the arrogant person is also filled with jealousy and enmity toward, uh, toward anyone, anyone in his community who is accorded greater honor than he. So meaning what? That he, uh, in his mind, uh, like sick mind, he, he thinks that, um, that he uh, deserves more honor. Uh, and uh, that person who is in charge right now, he is uh, accorded more honor, so he should be the one. So like... Um, but people uh, like it only comes with uh, from the arrogance for example uh, some somebody will want to be like a leader of the community like uh, in a, even in synagogue a president let's say or some other officer like it's so much work to do like uh, first of all nobody's being paid right so it's uh, you have to do, do it in expense of your family time or learning time i, I don't know i don't think anybody uh, any of them learning i never ever seen uh, the learned president ignoramuses yes big ego yes all of them it's like a stamp but uh, learned person not but uh, but if person said no i can uh, take a great uh, better care of the community so i mean uh, he he's going to put himself in that situation or somebody wants to be a rabbi of the community i mean for, for me like uh, to be a rabbi of the community like the way i see what, what's going on? Just analyze. It's a big curse. Yeah, it's, I mean, of course, meaning, of course, there is a respect that comes, but uh, he's uh, like uh, obligated to attend all of the, all of the like uh, events, right? All the funerals and somebody who's, uh, I, I see the, the local rabbi where I go, right? Uh, so, like uh, the previous generation is dying out, like, and he has to attend their funerals, like, uh, and he, he names the names. He, he would say somebody this uh, this that person passed i have no idea not even his children maybe his children moved out maybe uh moved to israel to other places i don't know maybe uh, 20 years 30 years ago i have no idea mm, not even slightest but he of course since they were used to be members of the community so he must attend to all of the funerals 
all of the weddings, all of the bar mitzvahs, it's like unbelievable. I mean, uh, if people who like this stuff, maybe it's not so bad for, for them, but if you want to learn Torah, it's a curse. Okay. So, continue. Okay, so he will, he, he told himself, but if not for him, meaning this person, I uh, I would be the recipient of uh, of all honor, right? So, uh, meaning that he is uh, he's undeserved and the only person deserving as I saw, right? Uh, he is my biggest issue. This attitude brings him to delve into the person's history until he finds something derogatory to say about him, right? He needs to bring him, him down from history. What about, yeah, maybe maybe it's possible that he was uh, not exactly Abraham Avinu in his uh, young age or maybe 10 years ago, but he changed, right? Uh, who, who cares about the history, right? And I build true or false. So I mean, uh, the, this person need, uh, needs uh, facts, right? Facts in double quotes. Might be true or false. So that he can help um, heap a scorn or shame upon the individual and lower the statue among the people. Meaning that uh, people are not going to listen to, to him, but he, to, to this original rabbi, uh, like uh, leader of the community, whoever is it. And... Uh, Right, and that's it. Like uh, in my show, okay. I mean, uh, there are some clowns, gabbies, but uh, there is some gabbies, uh, like uh, the real uh, serious one. Right, uh, they would come like before everybody else and set the, the whole place and clean and this and that. And uh, he would uh, would uh, roll roll the Torah, bring the Torah uh, to to the safe from the safe. So so we, we keep it in separate place. Like so much work he, he has to do, like, uh, and uh, of course uh, he's not a, a youngster, so it takes him a little longer, and it's heavy, and and he does it like uh, this uh, every every morning. So ask uh, and uh, like the, when when he went, uh, I don't know, just, he, oh, he he was sick for 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 two three weeks. He was. Uh, uh, he, he was not there, so like uh, three people tried to replace him. They could not. They failed to, to come on time to, to open the door. I mean, not, not, not on time before the prayers, but uh, I don't know, like half an hour before the prayers to open the door. Right? It's uh, it's, it's normal to set up uh, things, maybe a conditioner, heat and stuff like that. Okay. So <laughs> maybe someone, and, and some people I know, they want to be a guy. I mean, like, uh, why would normal person wants, uh, wants to do that? Okay. Uh, the Talmud says the Sota 42b that four groups will not merit uh, to greet the divine presence. Right? Uh, so we spoke about it before, but it's also in here. So it says flatterers, right? Liars, <coughs> habitual speakers of Lashon Hara, and scoffers. Uh, okay. Scoffers. Arrogance can cause a person to belong to all of the above groups. That's uh, that's scary. Um, he will speak despairingly of his fellows so that uh, the person will be shamed while he will be honored. He will scorn and mock him and he will falsely boast the personal, uh, personal qualities which he does not possess. And he will flatter the wicked and uh, refrain from uh, reproving them so that they will not hate him and seek uh, the, to diminish his honor. Okay, so let's uh, try to understand uh, this piece. One second. Um, so it says, one second. so it says, um, one of the title, Talmud Sota 42b, uh, that four groups not merit a divine presence. Because uh, why? Because Hashem hates those, right? Flatterers. Those uh, who said uh, that everybody is tzaddik, everybody goes to Ganeidin, right? These people, Hashem hates. Yeah, but they're trying to be nice. They, you're not trying to be nice. You're a flatterer, right? Liars, right? People who lie, okay? Again, uh, flatterers, and uh, I think all of the flatterers are liars as well. Like, if, if you think about it, right? <laughs> um, habitual, uh, uh, habitual speakers of Lashon Hara, okay? Because they try to put other people down and scoffers, right? Uh, make, make fun, everything is, is, should be funny. Um, the arrogance can cause the person to belong to all of the groups uh, above mentioned groups. It's it's very scary, right? So, uh, to be in a hate uh, in a hate list of Hashem 
four times, four different groups, because of the arrogance. He will speak disparately of his fellow, so that the person be shamed while he will be honored. Okay. I mean, uh, of course, as we said many times, you can work on yourself and put yourself on a higher spiritual level, or you can uh, try to put somebody down, uh, somebody on a higher spiritual level, and uh, in your eyes or in the eyes of the public, the, uh, you can rise. Okay, which is, uh, as we know, not true. <clears throat> he will scorn and mock him. Right, so that's the uh, second group. And falsely um, boasts uh, the, his, uh, boast of personal qualities, which is a liar, right? But which he did, does not possess, right? Because nobody's going to check and nobody cares to check. And he, uh, and he will flatter the wicked and refrain from reproving them, right? Why? Because he needs, uh, he need, uh, needs uh, bring the like, uh, allies on his side. So that they will not hate him and see he, uh, and seek to seek to diminish his honor. So me, I am like you. I respect you very much all of these years, and I I know people like that. I mean, uh, I'm not. Uh, maybe they think that they are smart. I mean, for, for sure, professors. Professor, one of the professor of, uh, I think, biology in one of famous uh, New York University, right? <clears throat> So he, he would come uh, and, and he speaks very like uh, loudly and he said, I, 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 I've been thinking about what you said last time during the prayers, right, of course. <laughs> so I want to ask you a question. I, I value your opinion. And uh, if, uh, if uh, for, for many people who are like uh, not strong, who does not have the spine, like uh, to be God-fearing person, uh, like somebody comes to you like nobody you. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like uh, somebody that is nobody. And, and these guys say, um, um, I, I value your opinion. You, 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 it looks to me like uh, you're, you're thinking, I want to ask you the question. So people melt like ice cream. So he, he was praying to Hashem and he dropped all the sidur almost on the floor and started talking in the middle of the down. This is clown. You understand? So this is flatters I see with my, I mean, I'm trying to take off my glasses. I don't see with my glass. I try to 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 look at the wall, and still sometimes I have to turn around and uh, do whatever I need to do, and I and I hear these things and I see the things. You understand? Scary. Scary how people like to be flattered, and uh, we actually said yesterday, right? Uh, most of the people need attention, positive attention, and if you give a compliment. They uh, they yours doesn't matter what what you say after that they yours which is very very scary. Okay. Continue. Therefore, uh, one who um, who wishes the, to, to purify his soul of arrogance should uh, ponder uh, the shamefulness of the bitter sin. How can a man be arrogant when he saw uh, he was created from a putrid uh, putrid drop, and will ultimately go to the place of dust, worms and maggots? Okay, one should also ponder uh, the severity of this sin, uh, which is uh, one of the 365 negative commandments. Okay, um, as it is written, and your heart will become haughty, and you will be, uh, and you will forget Hashem your God. It's from Dvarim uh, 8 uh, 14. And take care lest you forget Hashem your God. Okay. So how you 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 forget Hashem you got? I mean we're going to explain the, like uh, he's secondary. So I I need I need to do the the justice. So I I need to be in that position, not not this person. But uh, I I always think like in my job where I used to work to be a manager in our job it was a curse, meaning that you're going to work seven days a week. Some of them, most of them were not Jews, but some of them were Jews, not religious. Seven days a week for sure you're going to work and uh, most likely around uh, 15 hours a day, most likely. So, and how much is compensation? Maybe 20, I, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, money is like, uh, what are you going to do with, with the money if they uh, take uh, the whole life away from you? Okay. <laughs> but people who wanted the title, uh, the title, uh, even in, like in some point where we have offices, so they would sit in the office, but after some time, uh, there were no offices, so everybody they, like sit sit at at the at the floor. So everybody's together. So that's what the new president. He had an office, so top uh, guys had offices, but the rest of the people, the smaller bosses, were sitting together with us. <sighs> Unbelievable, right? So 
and people agreed like uh, to get this honor and work uh, a lot uh, right just uh, just to have this title okay continue when a person uh, uh, persists in seeking fame for himself um, the <clears throat> opposite uh, the opposite occurs his reputation gradually becomes diminished <coughs> sorry and he becomes an object of disgrace in the eyes of others okay so let's do this uh, uh, piece one more time. So it said, therefore, one who wishes to purify his soul from arrogance should ponder the shamefulness of the bitter sin. Right? So if you uh, want to, um, to purify yourself, as we said yesterday, um, the, the question was about uh, um, meditation, right? So and uh, so and. Uh, have to meditate so based on the Musar. Musar teaches us how to, to meditate. For example, Amisla uh, Sashrim always uh, gives us like, like uh, another side, like a uh, downside. Yeah, like uh, for, for example, a person, as we said yesterday, in this example, likes to eat. Yeah, the food is very tasty, very delicious, looks good, and everybody's laughing, everybody's in good mood, just, just looking at the table with all of the beautiful dishes, but uh, but when you see the other side, right, where Mozart teaches, oh, you're, you're not so interested after all, right, to waste all of this time, right? Um, so same with a person who wants to purify his soul from arrogance. So he has to see the, the consequences of his sin. And uh, when we say consequences, because uh, when sages said so, first of all, they had the uh, divine assistant in the learning Torah. Right, and the second of all, they were talking from experience. That is going to happen. It happened with all of the generations before us, so most likely it's going to happen to our lower generation as well. Okay, how can a man uh, be arrogant uh, when he was created from putrid drop, right? And will ultimately go to the place of dust. That that's uh, it's from Perkyos. I right? see where where he came from. Like how you, he came from drop, uh, and you came from drop. Or what is the what is the difference? Right? And what is your end? So it's only a matter of time, right? To uh, go into this, uh, uh, in into this ground, right? And then plus, many people just because they're alive, and uh, uh, I mean, uh, j just because they're not dead does not mean they're alive. They they can uh, live in. Uh, uh, I don't have this person with us now. Um, as uh, one of our dear, dear students is, is, is actually worked many years for uh, not some years in. Um, in a nursing home, so he testified many times. Like people, uh, they they say they like uh, he's a very uh, very big-hearted, one-hearted person. Uh, always smiles, very Hashem. So people uh, people would open up and say, they say elderly people, I don't want to leave. Yeah, of course, uh, it's good for a nursing home uh, to to keep them alive as long as they can. And uh, but people say, I don't want to eat. So in Actually, there is a procedure like uh, the special training how to deal with these people, how to trick them, how to like uh, grind the medicine into yogurt or something to give them because uh, they say, I don't want a medicine, I don't want a leaf, I do not, do, do not want any, anything. So just because a person is alive does not mean that he's, uh, uh, he's well. You understand? So we have to remember so like uh, what is our end. So beginning, we understood. But a uh, person is alive. <clears throat> is a little smarter than others, a little uh, handsomer, or the, the woman is more beautiful than others. But it's only a matter of time. It all goes uh, goes down uh, down the slope anyway, right? And plus, right? Uh, so the, you, you, uh, I mean, not plus, but but to continue, uh, pl uh, pl place of dust, very going, warms and maggots. So everybody's going to be there. Okay. One should uh, also ponder the severity of the sin which is one of 365 commandments as it is written your heart uh, and your heart will become haughty and you will forget Hashem your God so how you forget Hashem your God when you uh, when one person is uh, arrogant it says that Hashem said you and uh, him and I they, they, they cannot coexist in the world it's too much his arrogance so he's so much that there is a Hashem in his humility said that the, the, I, I cannot even enter the room it's uh, the, it's full of his ego okay right and second verse says uh, take care lest you forget Hashem when person persists in seeking fame for himself 
the opposite occurs. So, of course, Hashem, who is running the world, it looks like he's winning, he has all of the supporters, but it's only a matter of time that he's going to sleep, right? Hashem is going to make him sleep, right? Uh, create, uh, not make him, but create opportunity, and this person guarantee is going to take uh, uh, advantage of this opportunity, going to sleep, and uh, guess what? Fall in uh, the be diminishing uh, in uh, like uh, in uh, people's eyes, right? And be disgraced in, in other eyes. So that's the thing, which is very very scary. So just one second. So please let me know if you have a question. So I will try maybe different approach little. So I'm going to see the messages. <clears throat> I have a second device. I tried today in uh, my previous class. I mean, uh, it's very interesting. So one second. I apologize I did not. Okay, so I'm taking uh, okay, somebody's typing, but uh, so far it looks like there are no fresh messages. All right, so we continue. Uh, okay, uh, unless somebody is going to post more. I don't see. Okay, so no problem. <clears throat> so we continue with kosher kitchen. I mean, uh, we, we spoke about these uh, things many times, but uh, maybe we added some more, more interesting twist. And um, <clears throat> and we continue with kosher kitchen and it's chapter ten. Um, and uh, our topic is a prohibition of pas akum. And we compare uh, last time, uh, right? Uh, we, we said what, what is. Uh, considered to be uh, bread, not bread, all of this, uh, the different dishes that uh, maybe it's bread, maybe it's not like bread, stuff like that. Okay, so, and um, pas akum, as we said, uh, uh, bread baked by uh, by commercial baker is more lenient than, um, uh, than, uh, than bishul akum, something that is, uh, um, something that, uh, that was cooked by Nanju. Okay, so I see the question. So it says, Shalom Chalak Wadraf, if there is an obligation to uh, rebuff Halosh and Haras spoken about others, or that is forbidden engaging in, uh, with the scoffers. So that's a uh, that's very good question. That very, very, very good question. Um, <clears throat> so if you hear that somebody is uh, speaking Halosh and Haras, it's uh, the same as you, you see that somebody is doing any sin. Because it, it, this sin is forbidden on a total level, no more, no less. So you obligated to rebuke the person and try to stop, right? And uh, as, 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 as the question goes, like if the uh, known uh, scoffers, right? Uh, if they know scoffers and it's uh, only create uh, more damage, and it's uh, oh you you don't believe me, you you not have no. Let, let me tell you the whole story and try to stop him and. Uh, Instead, uh, well, that, that person starts speaking even more. So in this case, yeah, though you're not obligated, and uh, you most likely would be even forbidden to start up with, with, with these people, right? But uh, but otherwise, if you if you can stop, and uh, at least other people would listen to you, so you can, you, you would be obligated. So okay, or if you don't want to do that, of course, don't be there. As we always say, don't be there and now you're not obligated. You're not obligated to be police of the world and uh, go to every party and see what they're talking about. Right? Okay. So it looks like no more questions. Okay, so we continue. Um, 